Considering how much four roses I had last night and many other flowers, I picked that off pretty well. Yeah, I think feeling pretty good. Yeah, no excuses. Hello. Ha. We've been doing these family bingo Zoom meetings on the weekend. What are you guys doing to stay in contact with your loved ones? Start an experiment with the channel. It might last another month, might last the rest of the year. I don't know. I'm just gonna start testing it out, see if you guys even pick up on it, what's happening. Um, but what'd you guys have for breakfast? I had a little toast with eggs and uh, what's that other stuff called? Sauerkraut. It's good for your digestive system. So I got a project I'm doing today. I'm going to paint this wall of my snake room that has not been painted in forever. The thing is I have two different colors of green. I've got this color right here, Springview Green, and then I've got this other green up here, and this one is called Luck of the Irish. I can't really remember which of those colors I ended up going with. I got two different colors and ended up using just one. So hopefully the one I pick matches. I'm gonna go with Luck of the Irish and really honor that 2% of Irish blood that's flowing through my veins. By the way, top of the morning. I, yeah but I'm doing it, it's happening today. I've been waiting for the right weather outside and inside so I can just put in the box fan and suck the air out of the room all day and get good ventilation in here without having to worry about the temperature outside and it's finally that time because I got the paint back in 2017. Two years this wall has been unpainted, two years plus. That's ridiculous, I'm a slacker. trying to recall why I didn't just paint this in the first place before I put the snakes in here. I think that at that time it was like the last day and I wasn't quite done yet but I need to get the snakes out of the other house. Like I was even ready to paint. I even like taped around this thing and the tape's still there from when I taped around this so I could paint up against it without getting paint on it and now it's finally happening. It's finally happening. It's finally happening. Did it. I finally, finally, finally did it. It's happened. It's done. And I, and I realize now why it took me so long in the first place. I told myself after I finished it, building this room that I would never do drywall ever again. I did this kind of like nice little custom texture here that you can see on, on the drywall. And this wall already had texture on it, but it was different. So I was thinking I would drywall over it so that it wasn't this type of texture and then all the texture matched. But you know what? <laughs> Unless you look really closely, you can't really tell. So. I'm pretty happy with it. Okay, I can't keep a secret any longer either about this segment thing I'm gonna do. The thing that I'm gonna try out, experimenting on the channel is we're gonna have new segments. Segments, segments, because uh, it's 2020. It's time to do something new and special with the channel. I think segments are part of it. Oh, you, are you interrupting me right now? Is that what's happening? Sorry. Guess what? What do you know? I know. About to film Halo. You say, you say. Huh? Uh, what, what about filming Halo? Uh, that it's happening after Eli's what you know, and everyone who's watching this better know who Halo is. <laughs> uh, I I probably couldn't hear you because you're whispering. And that she. Okay, you're done. You, you gotta say, you gotta be, you gotta say stuff. Here's, uh, uh, the, the, That's because I don't the. know what to say about it. Well, then you better know what you're gonna talk about if you're gonna come in here interrupting me, boy. Move along now. And that brings me to my next segment, the complaining corner. I'm gonna go stand in this corner. And I'm gonna complain about something. Welcome to the first session of the complaining corner. And today I'm gonna to be complaining about the thing that I've complained about forever. And I'll probably complain about it for the rest of my life. Until people figure out how to drive in the passing lane only when they're passing. That's the left lane 
here in the United States, if you're in that left lane, you're supposed to be passing somebody because you're, it's illegal to pass on the right. So you're making it hard for us folks that are trying to pass legally if you're sitting there in the left lane doing 60 miles an hour in a 65 mile an hour zone. You gotta move over. Now, with this introduction of the complaining corner, I also wanna introduce the next segment, which is the solution stool. Oops. So as you may have guessed, the solution stool is the place where we come up for the solution of what I was complaining about. Now, when I was younger, I used to think, it would be nice if I just had a rocket launcher installed right on my hood so I could just take out people that were driving like idiots. Maybe they're not idiots, maybe they're just ignorant, but they're at least one of the two. If you're driving in the fast lane, okay. And I don't have anybody next to me on my solution stool, but I'd love to have guests to come sit with me on the solution stool sometime and help me come up with solutions for the problems that I'm complaining about in this world. That would be fantastic. But for now, I'm gonna have to figure out my own. So the rocket launcher thing, yeah, although it would be effective, it would probably be very illegal. Another solution, I guess, would be to write to the senator and see if we can get that law enforced, but there's so many laws already. I think the best solution might be write to the driving schools and make sure they teach it in driving school. Because I didn't learn it. I didn't even drive on the highway in driving school. How did that work? I get my license before I even set tire on the highway? That doesn't make any sense. How does that make any sense? But that's what happened. Anyway. That's, that's our segment. If you guys have a solution to my problem so I don't have to complain about it ever again, well, leave a comment down below. Let me know what it is. Come on, stop holding out on me, bro. And that brings me to my next segment, which is Halo. How much does she weigh, bro? Uh, yeah, I just said Halo before. What? 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 Ace Grammys. What? What do you know? Um, hey, hey, is it your turn? Get out of here, interrupter boy. I know. You know. That's all I know. <laughs> hey, Two Shoe, why don't you have pants on? I asked Mommy to put pants on you. Yeah, on. Oh, you got short time? Oh, oh okay. Hey, T. Hey, T. Hey, T, 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 T. Musha. Leia Moon, I'm talking to you. Hey, hey Leia. What? Do you know? I know. You know what? Jumping Halo. Huh? Jumping Halo. Halo? Yeah. Jumping Halo? Yeah. What about jumping Halo? Dead Gear Drive. They drive? Yeah. What? That's they're alive. Oh, they're alive? Yes. Anything else? Nope. Okay, say that's what I know. That's what I know. <laughs> so the first thing about weighing her is I'm going to weigh myself. So that I guess, well, let me take my phone out of my pocket. All right, <laughs> let's see what's happening here. Are we ready for this? <laughs> Are you ready for this? <laughs> Easy back there, comment gallery. All right. So, holy 195.8 pounds. Is that for real? What? <laughs> wow. Doing some hookalaka. I mean, you should start calling her Leia more on the channel so okay, people Leia. know what her name is. Okay, Leia. I'll call you Leia more. T. All right. <laughs> Zoom, Holmes. Get that number. Zoom. It's kind of blown out. 242 minus 195 is 40 47 seven. I know that 47 pounds bro that's how much she weighs a few more tubs of ice cream and it'll be, be easier to get her weight I'll just go up to 200 and the there math will be go. a lot easier yeah. I want to think about it so hard <laughs> perfect good Isaiah Isaiah idea <laughs> Isaiah An idea <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah what do you got to say for yourself, Missy, huh? <laughs> Camera woman? Got anything to say for yourself there? <laughs> nope, I'm Come good. on, come on. I'm good. Hillary time. Oh, do I get a complaining time? Do no, I get no, it's just Hillary time. Do I get a complaining segment no, no, too? Uh, <laughs> it might be long. <laughs>
I hope you enjoyed our very first segment of Snake Cinematography Saturday. Mm -hmm. You guys like these segment ideas? Leave a comment down below if you like the segment ideas. Leave a comment down below if you hate the segment ideas. Leave a comment down below if you have your own idea for a segment idea. You can't fit through those, Halo. I tried. Every one of them. They're all the same size. It's like, yeah, what about this one? Nope. What about this one? Nope. What about this one? Mm, still nope. A little update on the $500 giveaway. I have received and picked out the winners. I will be featuring them on next video. So you can look forward to seeing what happens with that there. And, hmm, it's nice out right now. I like it here. You ready for another segment? <laughs> There's lots of them. I have lots of ideas and I'm, I'm trying them all out. Uh, feature a friend, Brian Bodie. Brian Bodie. I'm going to put a link down in the description for his, uh, his, his website and his, where you can get a hold of him. He has lots of cool pairings happening this season. Uh, he's a cool guy. Really, uh, he actually got an animal off me one time at the last show. And I, I enjoy Brian a lot. He's got a cool name. He spells it the right way. He's our featured friend today. <laughs> and now, for our very last segment of the evening that I am calling Who's Hungry? Everybody's hungry. <laughs> Please leave us a comment down below. Let us know which segments you enjoyed today and blah, 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 blah. Aloha, folks. Mm -hmm.